that make any sense? Or was it a lot of numbers? <laughs> oh, that's charming. <laughs> So we're going shopping, uh, it's Sunday, we're going shopping, it's very important. Also, because it's Sunday, we might also go to the, uh, to, to the garden centre because we're middle-aged and uh, it's, it's the law, I think. Um, so I'm out in the car with my good lady wife, say hello Mel. Hello Mel. Yeah, thank you. And we're going to do some charging today, first ever rapid charge. So uh, let's talk a little bit about charging. And uh, a year ago, I knew nothing about charging at all. What I knew about charging, you could have written on the back of a postage stamp and uh, probably still had room to write a small novel on the back of it. Uh, I know a little bit more now, but I'm definitely not an expert. So I'm sure that somebody, if I make any mistakes here, will correct me in the comments because this is YouTube and that's what people do. But this is the way I think I understand it now. now to make this easy, I'm going to cut out the Nissan Leaf because that has what's called a Chadamo port on it. And uh, we're not going to talk about that today. We're going to talk about cars with a Type 2 port which is what this has got. This Nissan Ari has got a Type 2 port. And just about any car that you buy, EV that you buy now, will have a Type 2 port. It is the de facto standard. That's probably what you're going to get. So we're going to forget about the Nissan Leaf, one of the most popular cars, uh, popular EVs, but we're going to pretend it doesn't exist. So uh, let's talk about Type 2. You can so, oh, hello. The Nissan Ari has decided to talk to me. I am not, I didn't say Nissan. Hang on. Canceling voice recognition. Thank you. So, and it, what was I saying before? I was rudely interrupted by my car. Uh, yeah, we're going to talk about the Type 2 port. So the Type 2 port uh, works with slow and fast charging. Slow charging is when you plug it into your, like, your 3-pin plug at home, and that's going to take several days to charge your car up, so you really don't want to do that. You're only going to do that if you are desperate or a newspaper journalist looking to write um, an anti-EV story in a national newspaper. And who would do that? Uh, so instead, let's move rapidly on, no pun intended, to fast charging. So fast charging. Now that's what you use at home, uh, probably with a seven kilowatt charger. That's what I've got on my wall at home. That's what we've got, dear. We've got a seven kilowatt charger. As you can tell, she's impressed. <laughs> Uh, but you might have a 22 kilowatt charger. Now, 22 you will only have if your home uh, supports three phase electrics. Most homes in the UK don't, unless you're a premiership footballer or a TV personality. You've probably not got three phase, in which case you will have a seven kilowatt charger. And that will charge your car up in a few hours, which is quite good. Uh, in fact, we stuck this car on just for an hour and a half before we came out because it was a little bit on the low side. It was down to 11%. And we came out, it was on actually it was just over an hour and it was back up to 26. So on a seven kilowatt charger, it's not bad really, but it is still going to take a few hours to charge up. Uh, so on a 22 kilowatt hour charge, it would be quicker. Now the key thing here is the number before the kilowatt. So seven is a smaller number than 22. So the bigger the number, the quicker the charge. You see, it's not rocket science. And you might have seen a, a previous video when I um, tried to charge my car up for the very first time and stupidly was asking questions like, do you need to leave it turned on? No, you don't. You don't need to do that. Uh, so I left my car charging overnight and uh, on the zappy here, it says charge complete. Wonderful. So that means I can just take the plug out and I'm going to do that now and it will work first time. I promise. And I'm going to do it by unlocking the car. There, the car is unlocked, and that means I can just pull it out. See, it's that easy. So, yeah, okay, trust me. Here we go. Charge done. If you want to go up to DC direct current, then you add an extra bit to the Type 2 port that you will find under the cover. Here it is, you flick the cover off and then you can use a bigger charger, which you'll find at rapid charging stops, uh, which is uh, called CCS. The combination of the Type 2 and the little port at the bottom makes it a CCS. And then you can use rapid charging, which starts at 50 kilowatts and goes on up to 100 kilowatts. At 100 kilowatts, it becomes ultra rapid charging. Um, and then they ran out of adjectives, I think, at that point. 200 watts would have been better if it had been called something like um, 
uber charger, uber rapid charging, that would have been good. Um, perhaps uh, uh, 300 kilowatts, perhaps that could have been called Godzilla charging, that would have been good. But no, it's only called ultra rapid charging once you get to 100 kilowatts. So that's what we're going to do today. Now the other important thing to note is the speed that your car can handle because your ultra rapid chargers could be as high as 350 kilowatts that's really high but your car might not necessarily support that so this nissan aria goes up to 130 kilowatts so it's no good me plugging into a 350 kilowatt charger i will still only get 130 kilowatts similarly though of course if i plug into a 50 kilowatt charger i will only get 50 kilowatts so it has to, it's the lowest number on uh, on the charger side or the car side is what you're effectively going to get or going to get in ideal uh, circumstances now the other thing to note about uh, battery charging is the temperature of the car temperature of your battery and if you've got a really cold battery it's not going to charge up as quick as if you've got a slightly warm uh, battery now this car has something that enables me to heat up the battery uh, on the way to the to the rapid charger which is good which means i should then be able to get a faster charge in theory so i'm going to give that a go today as well once we come out of the shops so let's go shopping first of all and then we'll go to the rapid charger after that and have a first ever rapid charge mm. did that make any sense or was it a lot of numbers Oh, well, that's charming, isn't it? That's, that's I mean, charming, that. Load of old rubbish. I don't understand a word of it. Oh, did, did I explain that well, then? Brilliant. <laughs> so, we have arrived at the shopping. So, let's go shopping, and then once we finish the shopping, we'll go charging. I know how to have fun. Right, shopping done, and charging's next. So let's go charging. I know, that'll give the ladies a good time. Right, so the thing I'm gonna do before we head off is to turn the car on, and I'm going to activate the battery warming, because this is supposed to make the charging a little bit better. Because if you've got a cold battery, then your charging doesn't work quite as efficiently, apparently. So I'm going to go into the settings and the EV settings, I think it is. And then battery heater. Would you like to heat the battery? Yes. So battery heater is now on. I've no idea how long you're supposed to heat it for, but this is supposed to make it charge up more efficiently and quicker. So we will, we will see. Right, we are just about to pull in to the charging place and there are four 150 kilowatt chargers there. So this car is capable of 130, so we should be able to get the maximum out of it. I've preheated the battery as well. So my, my hope is it's not a particularly cold day, it's 12 degrees. That's not optimal, probably, but it's still, you know, better than minus six or something. So let's be honest. So I've got to find it now. So there's a Shell petrol station here, and I've got to find the uh, EV. Where is it? EV fast clean. Oh yeah, over there. Right. Big plug gives it away. There's a big. There's a big plug. There we go. Right. Okay. We're here. Okay. So we've got here then. At the charger, there we are, and I have, I don't know whether you can see that, 20% uh, battery left, 20% battery. So I'm now gonna get out and do my first rapid charge. Right then, so first thing we need to do, open the charging port, which I'm gonna do, there we go. And then we're gonna open up the uh, type two, and then immediately below it is the extra bit that makes it the, uh, the DC charging. Right, next up, uh, let's have a look. Okay, so it says on here, select the identification method. That's the next thing that I wanna do. So I'm gonna do start charge. Uh, so uh, initiating card identification, please follow the instructions on the payment terminal. Okay, so I wanna 
tap my card. Oh, okay, that's a good start. Error, we apologize for any inconvenience. Okay, that's good. I think it might be because I selected American Express. Uh, so card payment, start charge. Okay. Ah, okay, that worked, that went ting. So that's good. Initiating card identification. Please follow the instructions. Select your connector. Okay, select your connector. So I want, can you see that? The sun's shining on it. I select CCS. Connect your vehicle and press the start button. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna collect the uh, DC charge ID. Is that, which one do I want? Which one do I want? Ask Chadamo. So I want this one here. Okay, there we go. Right, so I'm gonna plug, ooh, blimey, that weighs a ton. So I'm gonna plug that in. So I have plugged that in. And now we're gonna start. So, start. Right, so it says starting, please wait. We are plugged in. Still says starting, please wait. Connector status. Oh, hello. So we've got CCS and it's got a, a, a spanner by it. That's not good. Error, we apologize for any inconvenience. Connector state, so it's dead. That's what he's trying to tell me. Select the identification method, card payment, start charge. I don't want to do this again. That's not a good start, is it? That's not a good start. So I'm going to unplug it. I'm going to unplug it and I'm going to move, I'm going to unplug it and I'm going to move charges because that to me looks like it might be dead. So I'm going to move to, I'm going to move to another charger. So just bear with me a moment while I move charges. <clears throat> that went well. It says some error on the screen about not something. So I'm going to move charges. So don't go away. My wife very encouragingly said, are you sure it's not just me? <laughs> I mean, go, thanks, thanks, thanks for that, thanks for that vote of confidence. So I'm now gonna have another go and do the same thing again. Okay, so I'm gonna tap uh, card payment. I'm gonna do start charge. And I'm now gonna tap my card, which is actually for me is my watch. Now it didn't work with American Express last time. So I'm gonna do it with Bartley card. It's pinged. Okay, so now it's thinking about it. I'm going to choose CCS and now I'm going to do connect the vehicle which I left the port open that's clever right okay so let's plug that in then and see how we do okay so it's beeped and now we've got a button that says start charge on the screen so that I'm going to press that Check an initial condition starting, please wait. Now, I thought about it a bit last time before it actually did anything. So, uh, still thinking about it. Still thinking about it. Starting, please wait. Starting, please wait. This is not going well. <laughs> okay, let's, um, let's just wait and see what happens. Starting, please wait. Let's make sure it doesn't say anything inside the car. Hello, has something come up on the screen? It is charging. It is charging. What, is that just 1.02 kilowatt hours? As opposed to what? Hang on a minute, I'm trying to work out. Oh, no, 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 it's on the left-hand side of the screen. I'm just, it's, on, it's actually doing 65 kilowatts on the side of the screen there. It's doing 65 kilowatts. I didn't understand how this would work. I don't know what that... That must be how much it's put into my battery. So it's put one and a half kilowatts actually into the battery and we're at 23%, I see. Schoolboy error. So it's actually running, you can see on the left hand side there, at 63 kilowatts at the moment. Which isn't, um, I mean that's okay. But it's not, you know, I'm capable of supposedly of 130 kilowatts and it's doing 63. So, yeah, that's okay. Whether it'll ramp up, whether it'll go up anymore, who knows? I'll just keep an eye on it and see what happens. 
Okay, so it is, seems to be stuck on just charging at 61 kilowatts. My preheating of the battery didn't help. I don't know, has it got something to do with the fact that it's 12 degrees today and not like 20 degrees basking sunshine? Who knows? But it seems to be just stuck at 61 kilowatts for charging. So in eight minutes and 25 seconds, it's put on eight and a quarter kilowatt hours into the battery and we came here with what about 20 percent i think and we're on 33 now so you know that's pretty good and what i'm going to do i don't think i'm going to go all the way up to maybe 80 percent but i'm going to charge for a little bit longer i'm going to just pop into subway here and uh, get us a couple of drinks and she said don't get me anything fizzy so not lucas aid sport then oh here you go Tropicana Smooth Orange. How does that sound? Yeah? I'm sure, I'm sure that'll be fine. So we have some drinks to keep ourselves, uh, keep ourselves going. And we're parked out here. There's four bays here. And there's uh, a Chadamo and a CCS connector on each one. So one didn't work, which is why I moved. And while we're sat here, in one of the bays, somebody was just parked with their ice car cleaning it. And in the other bay to our left, which I'm not gonna, we're not gonna look, we're not gonna look. He's also a nice car. Um, he's broken down. And when I was getting the drinks, he was at the counter in there saying, oh, I've broken down. I've parked it in one of the spaces out the back. It's not a space, it's one of four limited EV charging spaces. So that's good. Out of the four spaces, one didn't work and the other two had ice cars in them. <laughs> so, genius. Uh, anyway, I'm just looking at the screen. We've still got 61 kilowatts. Uh, it's 48% charged. So, I mean, we would be fully charged in no time at all, uh, but I'm not gonna wait till it's gone all the way up to 80% uh, or whatever. We'll just have our little drinks and then we'll go. Is that all right, dear? We've got a very hungry dog at home, incidentally. Well, she will be. She'll be chewing our legs off when we get him. She'll want to feed him. Oh, 49% now. It's flying by. Well, my other camera has given up the ghost, so that's good. <laughs> This hasn't entirely gone according to plan, but it's been pretty good. So I'm going to stop the charge now because uh, we're up to 50 something percent. Uh, but it did only ever get to 61 kilowatts, not anywhere close to the 130 it's capable of. But that's OK. We charged up for a bit. We've put 20 something kilowatt hours in there and been going for 20 odd minutes. So I'm quite happy with that. So let's stop it and uh, it'll charge my card and then um, away we go to... Uh, sort the dog out so it says it's stopping well, there we are disconnect your vehicle so we've gone up to 53 percent battery we arrived here with i think 20. so we've put 33 percent in and we've been here for don't know how long we've we been here for 20 minutes a bit of faffing at the start so that is the charge complete my very first ever rapid charge it didn't quite go according to plan the first charger wasn't working but this one was it didn't go up to the full speed the car's capable of but it still was reasonable i got a decent amount of charge in there and i will not be running out of charge on the way home which is the crucial thing that's all you can hope for anyway i hope this has been vaguely educational maybe interesting it was a bit of jeopardy always helps in the video uh, if you've liked it, don't forget to hit the like button. Uh, hit subscribe if you're new here for more of this daft EV content that will be coming up in the future. And of course, the usual running vlogs, all that's still to come. And leave all your comments because I love to read them. I'll see you for another video really soon.